Hello, today I am going to demonstrate prediction analysis of hurt patients using NAVBASE and random forest algorithms. Now about some brief description of hurt disease prediction. Hurt disease remains one of the biggest cause of deaths from the last two epochs. Recently, computer technology developed software to assist doctors in making the decision of hurt disease patients in their early stage. Diagnosing the heart disease depends upon the clinical or the obsessive data. Prediction system of heart disease can assist medical experts for predicting the heart disease current status based upon the clinical data of the various historical or various previous patients of that particular disease. In this project, I am going to demonstrate the heart disease prediction using two classification algorithms named, uh, named NAVBASE and Random Forest. Now about some brief description about NAVBASE algorithm. The NAVBASE classification algorithm is a probabilistic classifier. That means it depends upon the probability. That is, it is based upon the probability model that incorporates strong independent assumption. NAVBASE is a simple technique for constructing the classifier models that assigns class labels to basically the problem instances. That means we have some unlabeled instances we need to assign some kind of class label to that particular instance it assumes that the value of the particular feature is independent of the value of any other features given to that uh, particular class variable that means they have independent assumptions independent feature assumptions for example a fruit may be considered to be an apple if it is red round and about 10 centimeter in diameter that means if its color is red its shape is round and its diameter is 10 centimeter a naive base classifier considers each of these features to contribute independently to the probability of that particular fruit to be an apple regardless of any other possible correlations between the color roundness and uh, diameter features that means it will consider each and every uh, property or each and every feature to be independent feature now about uh, the conditional probability that means it totally depends upon this formula that is the probability of h with respect to e is equals to probability of e with respect to h multiplied by probability of h divided by probability of e here the probability of h is the probability of hypothesis when h is being true that is this is known as basically the prior probability Probability of E is the probability of evidence. Probability of E with respect to H is the probability of the evidence given the hypothesis is true. That is H stands for hypothesis, E stands for evidence. Probability of hypothesis with respect to evidence is the probability of hypothesis given that the evidence is there. That means when the evidence is present that, that is the probability of the hypothesis. Now naive based algorithm basically classifies or basically predict uh, the class label based upon the conditional probability or based upon the Bayesian uh, formula. Now what about the random random forest? Random forest is basically the collection of trees like there is a forest. Forest is the collection of trees. In this technique a set of decision trees are grown and each tree votes for the most popular class. Then the votes of different trees are integrated and a class is predicted for each sample. That means it is consists of a set of decision tree and each decision tree will vote for one of the most popular class. Then the votes of the different trees are integrated and the that the uh, majority majority of the votes will correspond to which class is predicted as as uh, as the class label for that particular instance. This approach is designed to increase the accuracy of the decision tree more trees are produced to vote for the class prediction that means uh, a, here we have more number of decision trees more number of decision trees will be used to increase the accuracy of basically the decision tree this approach is an assemble classifier that is assemble classifier is basically the technique that is used to increase the accuracy this approach is an assemble classifier that is composed of some decision tree and the final result is the mean of that individual of mean of all the individual tree results. That means uh, the integrated results of all the trees are corresponds to the final result. Now what about the flow chart of that particular project? Firstly we need to collect the data set as we are uh, 
uh, going to predict the hurt patient's data, uh, we will take the data set from UCA repository. That is the basically the collection of raw data. After that, we will pre-process or filter that data. That means if uh, there is need, uh, there uh, that that data set needs to be cleaned or some kind of uh, missing values or some kind of noise is there in the data set that needs to be filtered out. After that, we need to classify that filtered data by using the NAVE base classification algorithm and random forest classification algorithm. Then we need to analyze the performance parameter for both algorithms. Now the tool used for this project is Java JTK uh, with NetBeans and Weka as an external library. Now I am going to demonstrate the same project into NetBeans. What we will do, I have created the heart disease patients, heart disease prediction uh, project. I have created two packages over there. One package is for the database in which I will store that uh, particular uh, data set. And another one is the graphical user interface uh, package. In this package, what I have done is I have created one main graphical user interface file. What, what I will do is that right click to the main class and click to the run file. This will basically open a uh, graphical user interface in which we will basically browse the data set. Firstly, I will browse that data set. This data set I have collected from UCA repository. What I'll do, I'll just open that data set. That data set will be successfully saved into the database. Now I will click on this data set. The content of that data set will be shown into the data set content window. What, uh, what kind of attributes are there like age, some kind of blood pressure, some kind of blood sugar, uh, slope, number of uh, major vessels. And the class here represents the class attribute. That is, that particular patient is having uh, the heart disease absent or present. That means they have the heart disease, yes or no. This is the whole data set. These all are basically the instances. Now, after that, I'll click to the next button. Now, here I have the filtration, filtration window. Now, I will click on the replace missing value filter uh, button. What it will do? If some kind of data is missing over there, like like uh, this column uh, value is question mark, that needs to be filtered out using the replace missing value filter. That is, that means it will replace this question mark into some kind of value. The value which it will replace over here is the mean of all the column mean of mean mean value of the that particular column. It will place that mean value over here. Now I will click to the next button. What it will show, it will give me the two algorithms which I have explained to you in the presentation. Two algorithms there is random forest and navies. After that, I will click to the random forest button. It will show me the random forest results. What it has done, I have total number of patients data is 1080 patients data is there. Out of which 1072 patients data is correctly classified. That means if I have given that patient a... Uh, uh, that it, it will have the heart disease yes the algorithm has also predicted it as yes if I have given that particular patient heart disease no then algorithm has also predicted no that means total number of correctly classified instances is 1072 that is 1072 that will correspond to 99.25 percentage and number of incorrectly classified instances is 8 that corresponds to 0.74 percent inaccuracy now after that there is a kappa statistic. Kappa statistics basically shows the correlation or the matching percentage between the predicted value and the actual value. Now what are the actual and the predicted value? Actual values are the value which I have given here. That is this, this is a training, training data set. Training data set class label means the actual values and the predicted values is those values which algorithm will predict according to their functionality. After that uh, how much uh, more close if its value is more close to one that means algorithm has performed very well after that we have some kind of error rate that that means mean absolute error root mean squared error relative absolute error root relative squared error after that the total number of instances now these are basically the detailed class accuracy that means some kind of uh, true positive rate false positive rate precision recall f major 
all these parameters are basically calculated from the confusion matrix now what is this confusion matrix confusion matrix basically denotes the sum of diagonal elements that is 563 plus 507 that corresponds to correctly classified instances and 3 plus 5 that is sum of non diagonal element corresponds to incorrectly classified instances that means we have 560 instances which is having a 560 patients having the value of heart disease is absent out of those 560 instances random forest has correctly classified 565 instances and out of 560 instances which is going to be present algorithm has detected 570 instances to be correctly that corresponds to 1072 percentage 1072 instances to be correctly classified now after that i am going to uh, show you the results of naive base algorithm naive base algorithm shows 1011 instances to be correctly classified and 69 instances to be incorrectly classified that corresponds to 93 percentage of accuracy and 6.3 percentage of inaccuracy all the other parameters like kappa statistics root mean square error i have already explained you in the previous results now the confusion matrix similarly that sum of diagonal elements corresponds to the correctly classified instances and the sum of non diagonal uh, elements corresponding to the incorrectly classified instances that's all with this project thank you so much